Tyler here with GP Knives and we're back again for the week 28 weekly update. We're going to start this week off with a new custom knife maker, Chuck Richards out of Ohio in the United States and his Counselor 2.0 folder. Now this is a very robust titanium frame lock folder. The blade on this version is Saber Ground CPM 3V, which is a high wear resistant and very tough tool steel. Probably the toughest tool steel with this level of edge retention. You can see it's got a fairly high saber grind on here with a media blasted grind and hand rub satin on the flats. He's got his maker's mark marked on the top. You've got a right hand thumb stud for deployment. And as you can see, deployment is very fast and smooth. Rides on phosphor bronze washers. We've got a carbon fiber front scale. Exposed stop pin here at the top. Open back construction with a barrel spacer that is held with the screw that also holds the titanium pocket clip. And then you've got a lanyard pin here at the very back. And then a full titanium frame lock construction with hinder style over travel stop. And of course that right hand tip up only titanium pocket clip. So if you're looking for a nice robust folding knife that can really handle some serious use, then the Counselor 2.0 is an excellent option. We've also got this with a G10 scale and then we have a Dama steel blade with carbon fiber handle scale as well. And these are all professionally heat treated at Peter's Heat Treat. And next up, we're going to take a look at the Tops Knives a Little Bugger. This is designed by outdoor enthusiast and athlete Matt Graham. It's a small fixed blade Warncliffe style knife. Nice thin blade stock on here. 1095 high carbon tool steel blade with a Scandi ground edge. You can see it's got a tumbled finish on the flats and satin on the grinds. Thin stock at 330 seconds of an inch, so it's going to slice very well, but still be durable thanks to the grind. You've got contoured canvas micarta handles over black liners and a nice lanyard pin here at the reverse. So more of a three finger grip on this one. You get some jimping for traction and an integral guard and a custom molded kydex sheath with J style belt clip on here. And this knife is going to be a great lightweight option for a fixed blade for outdoor use. If you are a hiker or a trail runner, this is going to be a great choice. And next up, we're going to take a look at a couple of Lightweight Everyday Carry Lights. This is the I1R from Olight. This is a compact keychain USB rechargeable light. A max output of 130 lumens and a very simple operation. You can see here on the back, you just have low and high. So right now it's off. You do a half twist to low and then a full twist to high. So very simple, straightforward, unscrew the light and you gain access to the micro USB recharging port. So simply plug that in when it's running low and charge it back up. Very lightweight, nice, even light and uh, fairly neutral in color and just a great everyday carry option. And we've also got the Tainai from Nightcore. This is in a raw copper body that will patina over time. You can see it's got a micro USB recharging port as well. This one has a few more modes. Comes with this nice spring clip for attachment to your gear or keychain. Press and hold to turn the light on. And it does have memory, so it will switch on to the last mode used. I'll cycle through here real quick. So we've got a single lumen in the ultra low all the way up to 380 lumens for the max. 
So still on there, press just a single press to turn it back off. You have to press and hold to turn it on. And then if you press and hold the mode, you get instant access to that 380 lumen max. So another great lightweight option, very compact. And again, with that nice micro USB recharging capability. And next up, we have the FTIM Fast Totally Integrated Maximizer from VanQuest. We have it here in wolf gray. This is made with a heavy duty 500 denier nylon cordura. And you can see we've got a loop panel on the outside for patches for identification. We got some molly on the sides and back. A nice reinforced grab handle for retrieving this from a bag or pocket. We've got Spartan style zipper pulls on the top and lockable reversed YKK zippers. Gives you a nice fast access to the interior. There is a large exterior pocket here. I've got the top's little bugger tucked in there. As you can see it's a fairly generous size pocket there. The interior of the pouch has a ton of elastic loops, both large and small. You can see I've got a few things tucked in here. Got this Victorinox in the back in what they call a shelf area. So you can see it does stand up on its own and any items that have become unstowed or loose items in here are going to stay in the bottom of the pouch. So got some high vis nylon here and then just the 500 denier cordura for the rest. You've got a nice lanyard on the interior for attaching keys or a little EDC light. More elastic up top and a couple more high vis pockets in the back. And really this is just a well made and designed EDC pocket organizer. Also from VanQuest, we have this wallet. It's a simple single fold wallet, RFID protected. You got two clear ID pouches and two just regular card pouches for a total of four that will hold up to 20 cards. And then you also have a high vis line pouch on the outside here for folding money and receipts. Very thin profile here, a little larger in the footprint, but a very high quality piece as well. And that's the Cache 2.0 RFID blocking security wallet. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and your weekly update. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. Like the video below and click the icon at the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new videos.